Hello beautiful friends and welcome back to my channel. Today I'm coming at you with a very exciting announcement because Olivia and I are going to be announcing our next spooky little readathon which is going to be called Weekend Ween the Monster Mash. And if you're unfamiliar with these little readathons that me and Olivia love to host, um, usually in the summer times we host Summer Ween which is where we bring Halloween to the summers. That's where it all began. And then last year we decided that we wanted to host a cute little weekend ween right around Halloween time and so we decided we wanted to bring it back this year, but instead of doing a camp theme like we did last year, we decided that we wanted to do a monster mash theme because how fun! And so this readathon is going to be taking place from Friday, October 28th through Monday, October 31st, Halloween. We thought it would be perfect to just do a little like weekend ween right around Halloween time just because, you know, that's basically our whole brand at this point is trying to bring Halloween to different times of the year. So it just makes sense to actually do something on Halloween to be celebrating it with you. And I'm so excited for these dates. I mean, to be honest, it's kind of a bummer that Halloween is on a Monday this year, but you know, we thought we'd make the most of it and just include it in a little four day readathon. We do have a couple of different prompts for this readathon. We also do have merch, which you can stay tuned to hear about. And then we also have book sleeves and bookmarks. We're collaborating with a few of the same artists that we did on these last readathons. So stay tuned because there's a lot of info coming your way. But first, let's just jump into the prompts. So we do have four prompts for this readathon because we figured since it's four days, four prompts would make sense. So the very first prompt is going to be to let a coin toss decide your first read, which I think is a super fun prompt. I actually heard about this prompt a few years ago from either the book Toothon or the Reading Rush, and I just thought that that was like a really cute and creative prompt to do for a readathon, so I decided why not include it here. I think this is a really cool way to kind of like kick off the readathon by like flipping a coin and letting fate in the universe decide which book you're gonna start with. I don't know, I just thought it was like a cute little thing, so that's the first prompt. The second prompt is going to be to read a book with a monster in it or a monster on the cover. And obviously this can be interpreted however you want it to be. We just thought we had to include something like this for a prompt because the theme of the readathon is the monster mash, you know? So this could be something with like the word monster in the title. This could have a monster on the book cover. It can just have a monster included in the book in some way. You can also, you know, interpret that however you want to. Like if you think a serial killer is a monster, which, you know, you'd probably be right. You could include that. Like you can literally get creative with this, interpret that however you want to. And we wanted to make this um, extended so it's not just like horror books or thriller books. Like a lot of fantasy books also have monsters in them. So you can pretty much use this however you want to use this, make it fit to your TBR. We're not going to be policing anybody's TBRs. You know, like you can read whatever you want to read for this. But we just thought that would be a fun, cute little challenge. And I cannot wait to try and figure out what I'm going to be reading for this prompt. The third prompt is going to be to listen to a spooky audiobook or read a horror graphic novel or manga. And I'm really obsessed with this prompt because I think not only is it like obviously fun to read horror books physically, but I think sometimes listening to horror books on audio just provides a whole different reading experience. So I think that that would be a really interesting way to try and consume a horror book for this readathon. Or maybe you can venture out and try something new. Like if you've always been wanting to try manga or graphic novels and there's been some thriller horror kind of graphic novels or manga that you've been interested in trying, but you've never really known when you would have the opportunity to, maybe now would be that time. I know for sure I've been reading some really great kind of like thriller and horror manga recently and there are so many cool graphic novels out there. I would highly recommend even checking out your library and seeing if they have any cool manga or graphic novels to check out because I think you'd be surprised at how much your lo local library would have to offer when it comes to those things even for audiobooks too like you can also check out audiobooks from your library. I don't know I think this challenge is so fun because it's also very vast you know like you can either do audiobooks, graphic novels, manga like there's a lot to choose from there you know. And then the last fourth prompt is our staple. You know, at this point, it is the staple because it's to read a book either at night or in the dark. And this is one of my favorite reading prompts that we do. There's a reason why we include it on every single one of these readathons. And I just think it's because it's so much fun. Just trying to challenge yourself just to read at night or to read in the dark, it makes it a little bit more creepy. You know, it really adds to the experience of reading something scary. And the way that I've liked to interpret this in the past, because there's some people that are like, you can't read in the dark, it's bad for your eyes. I totally understand. I think there's a number of ways that you can go about this reading in the dark prompt. I mean, you can do the old school, you know, pulling out the flashlight and going under your blankets and actually like reading in the dark that way. You could always read a book on your phone when like the room is dark or it's like nighttime. You could even listen to an audiobook in the dark and knock out both of those prompts at the same time because that 
definitely counts as reading in the dark if you're listening to something in the dark. I think there's a number of ways you can go about that and I just think it's so fun. Like there's nothing like reading horror in the dark. It just makes it like 10 times scarier for me. And also if you really don't want to or if you really can't read in the dark, you can just change this to reading at night, you know, like keep the lights on, just read at nighttime. So yeah, those are the four prompts that we have this time. I really love these prompts. Like I really think that they're going to be fun and that they're going to make us venture out and try different things and do all the things. I, th I just think it's going to be great. And then next part of this video is the merch, which once again has been designed by my incredibly talented sister, Rachel. If you didn't know, um, her Instagram is called Remarkably Rach. She has her own designs now. My sister's literally on Redbubble, okay? She's like an artist that's selling on Redbubble now. She has come so far. I'm so proud. And this is the design that she has come up with for this monster mask. It is so freaking adorable, is it not? It's like a little cute Frankenstein or zombie hand just like bursting out of the pumpkins and there's a bunch of little like candy corns and little candy pieces flying through the air and it's just insanely adorable, is it not? And so as normal, we do have a few different options available through our Bonfire merch link. Bonfire is a website that we have used a number of times in the past and we just really like the results that we've seen with the, with the Bonfire merch in the past. Like it's just a really nice and convenient way to get merch out to you quickly. So these are the designs that we have for this go around. As you can see, we have the Monster Mash in the t-shirts. So we have black available. We have this purple stormy one, midnight navy, forest green, and cream, which honestly the cream is very hard to resist. I think it looks so cute. And then we also do have the long sleeve tees available. We have it available in black, dark heather gray, and navy. And then this time we also did hoodies, which honestly the hoodies just look so freaking cute. Oh my gosh. We have the black we have the dark heather kind of gray one. We have the indigo, which I also think looks very nice. And then the navy too. And then of course we're bringing back the crew neck sweatshirts. Um, this one we have available in black. We have the sport gray. We have indigo, we have navy, and we have forest. So there are tons of different options available here this go around. I'm really excited with how the merch turned out. I just think it looks so freaking good, so freaking beautiful. And I love this design that my sister made. I'm also excited to let you know because as I just mentioned my sister has recently launched a red bubble where she is uploading some of her own unique designs and she's you know creating merch for that and so if you wanted to get the monster mash logo on like socks or stickers or magnets or pins or anything like that she's gonna be selling those on her red bubble so I will have a little graphic here so you can see what they're gonna look like and I'll have her red bubble linked down below if you want to check it out not only is the monster mash one gonna be available on her red bubble but also the summer ween is also gonna be available on there if you wanted to get like summerween stickers or like anything like that. All of her designs are freaking beautiful and stunning. She has a lot of really cute like bookish merch related things and a lot of cute like fall related things and little ghosties. And so definitely be sure to check out her red bubble. Like seriously, my sister's amazing. Like she's so talented and her stuff is so cute. All right, next up, we are also going to be collaborating with Rachel to do some book sleeves. And if you're wondering, no, this is not the same Rachel. This is a different Rachel. We work with two Rachels and this is Rachel Hope. If you're not familiar, she runs the shop happy go lovely sleeves and we've worked with her so many times in the past and this time we're going to be collaborating once again and she's only going to have one book sleeve design available and it's going to be this cute little ghost oh my god i'm obsessed with this book sleeve honestly like this design it might be our it might be my favorite that we've done yet with her i'm so excited and this one is going to be the exclusive the one and only weekend ween monster mash book sleeve with this one she's going to be selling 100 of the maxis which is like her biggest size of the book sleeves and also 100 corners like the little bookmarks um and so these are going to be available starting on october 1st for pre-order she's only going to be selling 100 of each so if this is something you're interested definitely make sure to check out her shop. I'll include a link down below to not only her shop but also her Instagram so you can keep an eye on things. But yeah, oh my god, I'm so excited. Like it literally looks so freaking cute. Like I can't even deal with it. I just think it's so adorable and I can't wait to have it in my hands. And then the last little bit of news is that we are doing bookmarks once again with Alicia. Um, she is the one who also made our Summerween bookmarks that we did earlier this year and now she's made one again from Monster Mash and I'll put a little picture of what the bookmarks are gonna look like here on the screen. And like, oh my god, 
god, are they not just like so freaking cute? I love this design. I love it so much. I might even love it even more than the Summerween one, to be honest. Like, I don't know. I just think this is really freaking adorable. And so these bookmarks are really cute because she has a spot where you can like write in the, like write in what you're going to be reading for each prompt and different things like that. So I think they're super, you know, immersive. Like it's more than just a bookmark. It's like an experience. And so um, I'll also have her bookmarks linked down below if you want to check those out. Thank you so much to, um, you know, Rachel Hope, my sister, and Alicia for wanting to collaborate with me and Olivia on these readathons. I just genuinely think they're so much fun. I hope that you'll be able to participate if you're watching this. I mean, these readathons are genuinely so much fun for me and Olivia to host and to, you know, create and come up with all these ideas. And it really allows us to like get creative with things, you know, and I love that so much. I can't even believe, like, I still can't wrap my head around the fact that October is next month. Like, bitch, what? I also just did want to mention about the bonfire merch. If you're not aware about how bonfire works, it's basically like all of the orders get printed in batches. So essentially how it works is if you order on this first batch, which if you want to get merch, I would highly recommend ordering it right away because once this batch prints at the end of September, the orders are going to start shipping at the beginning of October. So as long as you order it anytime within this next week or so after this video gets posted, you should get your orders by the 1st of October. Otherwise, it might not get to you until like late October. So it might be cutting it kind of close to when the readathon starts. So I would highly recommend that if you're interested in getting this merch, I would try to get it on this first batch order, which would be within this next week or so. Yeah, that is all of the things. I'm so excited. Please let me know. Are you planning to participate in Monster Match Weekend Ween this year? Freaking excited. Like I genuinely can't wait. This is one of my most favorite things to do on YouTube now is hosting these spooky readathons with my friend Olivia. And of course I will have Olivia's information linked down below as well, my co-host. And yeah, that is all of the things. So thank you so much for watching as always, and I'll see you very soon with another video. Bye.